so a uh, very good evening all of you and welcome to the ini city uh, ophthalmology recall questions i hope your paper went well and um, i think that was a very good paper because you know very easy paper is also not a good paper because it cannot distinguish uh between the people who have studied and those who have uh, not studied that much so all those people uh, have put in the hard work they always want that a slightly tougher paper is better and uh, i think uh, they live up to their expectations they give quite conceptual questions but one thing i which i uh like this that uh, they did not give any controversial questions they did not give any uh, awkward questions any wrongly framed questions that came last year or uh, the incomplete choices like like last year they had not given the concentration of pilocarpine and two of the options were just the pilocarpine so that was not there and uh, all the questions were there from the class notes so whatever questions i could get from you people from your recall by your help um, along with the most probable options i have tried together thank you so much for cooperating and uh, good evening jitendra riya anuram i welcome you all and uh, i heartily thank you because you people have contributed a lot uh, i wanted to come up with the uh, most probable questions the right language the right options and uh, if there is something wrong please do forgive me and please also correct me in the comment section so that i can do the corrections and i will uh, share the corrected pdf <coughs> also so um, let's begin guys right so with each question please let me know also that uh, is this question uh, right or not and any of the options if you feel that that was not there or it was slightly different please do let me know right so the question number 1 is the retinoblastoma most commonly spread via so i think this is a very very direct question um we had discussed this in our class notes as well as in the app also that all the four routes we can have for the spread of retinoblastoma and some of you were actually you know confusing uh, with the blood spread no uh, blood spread is not the most common it is always through the optic nerve yes now if optic nerve would not have been there in the options then you could have gone for the direct spread but uh, because optic nerve is there in the options a better answer will be the optic nerve here all right so your answer will be optic nerve and as uh, told um, by the maximum people you people have also gone for the optic nerve so that is a better answer yes but some of you were confusing with the direct spread so if direct spread uh, was there but optic nerve was not there in the options then the uh, better answer was a direct spread and uh, if you look at the hematogenic spread so it is uh, of course not the most common but hematogenic is actually most common source of death most common source of the death um, in the children having the retinoblastoma especially if it is spreading to the liver so if it is spreading to the liver then uh, the hematogenous uh, spread is the most important one and uh, it is also the most common uh, cause of the death in the patients of retinoblastoma so i think this always remains a good evening everyone good evening so is there any uh, correction in this question please let me know i think this uh, was one of the direct questions we always discuss this uh the spread can be a direct spread or it could be a distant metastasis distant metastasis could be uh the lymphatic spread also it could be a blood spread also and um, the blood spread is the most important means dangerous one because mostly when it is spreading through the blood it's going up to the liver and that becomes the most common source of the uh, cause of the death of the children so as i always say intraocular tumors are important and uh, they tend to give the question and uh, this time they have given you a question on uh, intraorbital tumor also and the intraocular tumor also if you remember we always discuss this chart in the classes also that uh, when we have the tumors in the eye 
whenever we have the tumors in the eye you always have to see that whether it is the primary tumor and uh, then we have got the secondary tumor secondary tumors are always most common which are your uh, the metastatic tumors metastatic tumors are the most common one but whenever they are asking you with respect to the primary tumors only then you have to see whether they are asking about the orbital tumors or whether they are asking you about the ocular tumors so it could be intraorbital also intraocular also and uh, in both of the cases the age group is important whether it is found in the adults or whether it is found in the children so intraorbital in adults this is your cavernous hemangioma do you remember this this is your cavernous hemangioma then we have got intraorbital in children so this is your rhabdomyo rhabdomyosarcoma intraocular in adults this is malignant melanoma of the choroid and uh, intraocular in children is of course the retinoblastoma right so you have to always remember this this is again important happy ophthalmology very sweet of you yes um uh borelli uh, i could not get this question actually i was asking this that what was the question on neuro uh, myelitis optica please uh, give me a total question if you could uh, give me right so this was your question number 1 coming to the question number 2 question number 2 is again uh, related to the tumor where you have proptosis and if you remember i told you that proptosis is important and i also um in the uh, last minute revision that last leap for the inict may i had discussed all of that proptosis uh, that if you are having proptosis along with the um, urti if you are having proptosis along with the uh, bleeding apistaxis then what are the incidences and here they asked you proptosis quite uh, you know in a straight forward manner desmin positive tumor so what's the answer guys can you tell me is it uh, the rhabdomyosarcoma leukemia lymphoma or um, the ewing's tumor so what is your answer let us see we will uh, have a quiz on this also so what did you mark there proptosis with the desmin positive so desmin positive means it's a muscular tumor and uh, therefore the answer to this question will be your rhabdomyosarcoma so it is quite obvious and quite straight forward right any confusion any thing that you would like to change in this any of the options if you feel like that it was different please do let me know so that i can uh, give you the corrected one also all right then uh, coming to the next one now here we very good yes it's a so i got this picture i do not know if this was the exact picture something like this they were uh, saying you people told me that uh, they had given and um, uh, i am sure that it was a picture of a uh, homonemus homonemus hemianopia it was a picture of homonemus hemianopia i do not know uh, whether they gave it on the right side or on the left side but we will consider any side okay how to do it so whenever you are doing a question on the visual field you have to consider that as if it is your field so your right side will be the patient's right side here and your left side will be the patient's left side so that means there will be right so this will be the right side right side and you can see the central sparing because all of you told me that there was right or left homonemus or hemianopia along with this we are also having the macular sparing can you tell me why do we have this macular sparing why do we have this macular sparing and where do we have this macular sparing what is the blood supply of the exact picture oh wow thank you so much so you people uh, shared me the exact picture all right so this picture came and i think this picture uh, i had shared with you in the last sleep of the neat also and it came in inict right sided hai na to right sided it tha 
है ना सो वी हैव गॉट द राइट होमोनीमस हेमियनोपिया है अलोंग विद द सेंट्रल मैक्यूलर स्पेयरिंग भी है सो विच एरिया विल शो मी दिस डिफेक्ट वेयर यू आर हैविंग अ होमोनीमस हेमियनोपिया अलोंग विद द मैक्यूलर स्पेयरिंग एंड व्हाई डू वी हैव द मैक्यूलर स्पेयरिंग इफ यू लुक एट द ब्लड सप्लाई ब्लड सप्लाई ऑफ द विजुअल कॉर्टिक्स ठीक है इफ यू लुक एट द ब्लड सप्लाई ऑफ द विजुअल कॉर्टिक्स देन वी नो इट इज द पोस्टीरियर सेरेब्रल आर्टरी ठीक है बट मैक्यूला इज डिफरेंट एंड मैक्यूला हैज द डबल ब्लड सप्लाई सो वट इज द डबल ब्लड सप्लाई ऑफ द मैक्यूला आई इफ यू रिमेम्बर आई ऑलवेज टेल यू एम फॉर एम सो वी हैव पोस्टीरियर सेरेब्रल आर्टरी अलोंग विद द मिडल सेरेब्रल आर्टरी so due to this double blood supply we have got this macular sparing if i have a have a defect only in the posterior cerebral artery then i'm going to have this macular sparing so where do we have whenever i am having a defect of the visual cortex where do we have the visual cortex in the occipital lobe and what are the broadman areas yes so what are the broadman areas the broadman areas here are your 17 18 and 19 theek hai na now the thing is that if you are having this macular sparing we are very sure right if you see uh, this has again discussed in our class notes as well as uh, the app that means i am not having the lesion of a chiasma i am not having the lesion of the lateral geniculate body now who will tell me is it a right sided occipital lobe lesion or a left sided let us see this yes very good very good very good awesome guys so um now it is a right homonemus hemianopia with the macular sparing so which side occipital lobe lesion it is yes so give me the option is it left or right let us see that this is left or right we have a lesion of the left occipital lobe ya fir right occipital lobe yahi trick hi hai and that is why i think examiner gave you both hai na both left and right otherwise uh, you would have marked just the occipital lobe see uh, whether it is right or not yes Yes, because we always have contralateral homonemus hemianopia. We always have the contralateral. So contralateral है, and they have given you right sided. Very good. So answer will be left occipital lobe. थोड़ा सा tricky था. If you do not see this, that it should be contralateral, then you may have landed up in giving the right sided. So this is very very important. ठीक है? All right. So this was the next question. Then again, a uh, simple question yes exactly j it is opposite side theek hai now the next question is most common lacrimal gland tumor a very very easy question and a direct question from the class notes right so please check the options because uh, three options most of the people gave it uh, to me like pleomorphic adenoma mucoepidermoid carcinoma adenoid cystic carcinoma some people said uh, the fourth option was basal cell carcinoma and uh, some people said it is a non hodgkin lymphoma so please can you um, uh, sure tell me this that uh, what was the fourth option was uh, it uh, this uh, basal cell carcinoma or was it a non hodgkin lymphoma please help me with this and answer is very clear because it is not that the most common lacrimal gland tumor is the pleomorphic adenoma which is actually lymphoma was there so basal cell carcinoma i think was not there pleomorphic adenoma is a benign tumor so when they are asking you the most common rhabdo rhabdo tha isme and if they would have asked you the malignant one if they would have asked you the malignant tumor then the answer was your adenoid cystic carcinoma Uh, nevertheless i i think a uh, non hodgkins view people are saying so now we will cut this but uh, because the answer is something else so it is not bothering us we will cut this right it is a non hodgkin lymphoma so we have got a pleomorphic adenoma which is all over most common and uh, if you talk about the malignant one then it is a adenoid cystic carcinoma theek hai na acha uh, uh, what if they would have asked you the lit tumor jaise lacrimal gland tumor pucha they could have asked you the lit tumor also 
देन वॉट वुड है आंसर लेट्स क्रैक दैट ऑल्सो लिट ट्यूमर में वॉट इज द मोस्ट कॉमन बिनाइन एंड वॉट इज द मोस्ट कॉमन मैलेग्नेंट ठीक है मोस्ट कॉमन बिनाइन एंड मोस्ट कॉमन मैलेग्नेंट अगर लिट ट्यूमर में होता देन बिनाइन में इट वॉज योर पैपिलोमा एंड मैलेग्नेंट में इट इज द बेसल सेल कार्सिनोमा सो इफ इट वुड हैव बीन अ लिड ट्यूमर देन द आंसर वुड हैव बीन पैपिलोमा एंड द बेसल सेल कार्सिनोमा देन देर इज अनदर क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू दिस द मोस्ट कॉमन इन द रिकरेंट कैलेजियॉन वॉट इज द मोस्ट कॉमन कार्सिनोमा विच कैन अकर इन द पेशेंट हैविंग द रिकरेंट कैलेजियॉन so all those people who have got the problem of recurrent calcium they will have the sebaceous sebaceous cell carcinoma so we have got the most common lit tumors benign hai malignant hai most common lacrimal gland tumors benign and malignant and the most common tumors also in the recurrent calcium that is your sebaceous cell carcinoma then you have also seen the tumors of the intraorbital and the intraocular area so any of the overall most common was asked so overall agar most common pucha hai to benign is more common so answer will be pleomorphic adenoma there i think baki options are correct in this nothing to worry about it you know okay now again a uh, uh, um, question where i am not sure that exactly what picture was asked and uh, what i could get is the identify the block the options were the nasociliary anterior ethmoidal sphenopalatine and greater palatine pehle to ye dekho ki were these options given i do not know um and uh, what kind of picture was given i also do not know uh, i am if this picture was asked please look at this because i have a doubt uh, i could not get the exact picture Uh, some people said that it was something like this uh, which was asked and uh, then um, one more picture which the uh, people said that was there was something like this so uh, was it here just at the middle canthus or uh, something like this was this picture asked guys please let me know was so this is a right image this kind of a picture was asked where uh, we are giving it at this so they see there is a difference here perpendicularly given rai is saying it's a nasociliary one see nasociliary mein different hota hai this is your nasociliary so you have to learn accordingly when you are doing the nasociliary we are giving here right and when we are giving here this is your anterior ethmoidal so i do not know uh, whatever was asked you have to see you have to see the difference see that is why i have included both the pictures because i i do not know uh, whether uh, it was this picture they had uh, given the injection here or they had given even though i know the question answer i didn't saw this question as i didn't manage the time properly oh sad uh, that is why you know giving test is very very important because uh, at times the problem comes even if you know you are not able to attempt this so please give more and more test okay it was anterior ethmoidal not near the eyebrows acha so it was this one it was this that means it was this one so if it is near here then it is the anterior ethmoidal number 1 picture is correct hai hero number 1 hai hai na acha uske baad see this see this can you tell me what is this block now all the four options which are given there we could have uh, we could know so what is this then can you tell me if they would have given you this picture then what is this block you should be ready for all the four options then so nana is saying yes ma'am this picture uh, do you want to see this picture came yes this is your sphenopalatine block 
फिनो पैलेटाइन दिस इज योर स्पीनो पैलेटाइन ब्लॉक ओके देन अच्छा टेल मी अबाउट दिस व्हाट इज दिस ब्लॉक देन नो सुने ना इट इज स्पीनो पैलेटाइन यस नंबर वन नंबर वन वॉज एंटीरेट मॉडल देन आई शोड यू द नेजोसीलियर ई ब्लॉक देन दैट वॉज स्पीनो पैलेटाइन ठीक है एंड वॉट इज दिस वन वॉट इज दिस वन एनीबडी हू कैन टेल मी वॉट इज दिस वन दिस इज योर ग्रेटर पैलेटाइन दिस इज योर ग्रेटर पैलेटाइन ब्लॉक yes see this this is your greater palatine block so even if in future you get similar kind of a question this is your greater palatine block theek hai this is your spino palatine spino palatine ho gaya then if it is given here near the bros then it is naso ciliary and uh, as most of you are saying that it is this so what is the answer here so the answer will be your anterior ethmoidal right according to this picture if this picture uh, came theek hai na uh subhashish was this the picture or not i think most of the people are saying that it was this picture and uh, they were giving this injection here so then it is anterior ethmoidal so i have shown you all the four pictures now i have left to you that which picture came i do not know but most of the people give me this that uh, this was the there so this is your antirethmoidal theek hai all right then uh, there is a was a question on this now i do not know if i could get the exact image but it's quite similar to what you people told me they um, they said that the, the patient was having nine gazes was shown and the central picture was having the ptosis so this uh, is having the ptosis here and then they said that this patient is not able to see medially not say able to see upside also not able to see inferiorly also then they also said that the, the eye that was shown was down and out down and out so is it true or not this patient is not able to see up see this eye is looking up but this eye is not able to look up ठीक है, then this eye is looking down, but this is lesser, so it's not able to look down also. But um, if you see here, this eye is looking outward, so this is not adducting. So there is a problem in the medial rectus also, but both of them are abducting. So lateral rectus is normal here. ठीक है, so which eye palsy is this? I think this we have discussed so many times in the classes. this picture only similar image entire right eye entire right eye was closed by the eyelid difference that acha uh, i think you people want to say that the image was uh, the similar one but instead of the left eye that was right eye theek hai na so please uh, give me the options Uh, answer everybody know but i do not know what were the other options um, the option see the similar picture that i have also um, a similar kind of picture only balki in my um, you know class notes and in the app the picture that i showed you that was the right eye only i perhaps uh, it could be this also uh, perhaps this picture was given i do not know but because the picture that i showed you in the classes was the right eye only theek hai na so The options are your third nerve palsy, fourth nerve palsy, middle rectus palsy, or the sixth nerve palsy. So obviously the answer is your uh, third nerve palsy only, where the eye is down and out. But I do not know exactly uh, were these options right or not because medial rectus palsy and the third nerve palsy. Most of you have told me, but uh, uh, most of the students said that we did not even care for the other uh, options and we simply marked this uh, third nerve palsy. so please tell me if you remember the other options also uh, i am not sure of these options um oculomotor hai trochlear ho gaya uh, then we have got the abducens ho gaya 
uh, optic nerve so lena are you sure that they have given one option as optic nerve i do not know if they are giving the optic nerve palsy in the motor nerve palsy and ptosis so uh, other people please comment if it was optic nerve so please do let me in the comment sections know that uh, was optic nerve there or not i do not know if this was the option then again a uh, question uh, that was uh, well discussed in the classroom a patient uh, was having some clinical scenario that was showing that the patient is having the anterior uveitis like we were having the flare and the kps so this patient was having the acute anterior uveitis and um, uh only adduction absent it was medial rectus palsy uh but uh, people told me that in the central limbs there was a ptosis and the medial rectus palsy mein to there will be no ptosis so uh, please let me know if there was uh, you know uh, ptosis or there or not because uh, some of the students uh, told me that ptosis was there in the central image primary gaze mein so uh, that is why that is why i took it as a third nerve palsy so please do let me know was it a medial rectus palsy was there is no ptosis please tell me then uh, there was a question on the acute anterior uveitis are a saying ptosis was present and then we are having a raised intraocular pressure so this is actually the hypertension uveitis right so hypertension uveitis may when we are already having the uh, inflammation and if you remember i told you in the classes also that prostaglandin analogs can cause the intraocular inflammation so in all those cases beta blockers are preferred so what should not be used what should not be used actually is the prostaglandin analog so amongst the given options like we have a uh prostaglandin analogs we have beta blockers carbonic anhydrase inhibitors and the mannitol the best answer will be a prostaglandin analogs and i think most of you uh, give this answer only yes ptosis was there yes medial rectus not optic nerve so i think i have taken the right options then hai na okay uh then next question i think this is a very very important question uh, but a very simple question that we have already discussed so many times safe strategy safe strategy i always give you those handouts us mein bhi class notes mein bhi hoti hai and i as i always say trachoma is important because it is the most common infection which is causing the blindness in india so what is the answer tell me now safe strategy includes all except surgery for tracheases a for antibiotics a for facial cleanliness facial hygiene and uh, e for evaluation of program so yes it's very clear the answer is d e is not the evaluation it is the environmental cleanliness environmental cleanliness is there so answer is the environmental cleanliness so surgery we are doing mainly for the lid deformities the most common is the tracheases a for antibiotics which antibiotic we are giving for the trachoma by the way which antibiotic we are giving anybody yes superman you are there yes so uh, which antibiotic we give for the trachoma guys let me know so antibiotic that we are giving we can give the topical also and we can give the systemic topical may we give 1% azithromycin very good or we can give the tetracycline i ointment and uh, or we can give single drug remdesivir 1 g azithro uh, orally and uh, that to once and stat that you can give this is your safe strategy ठीक है ओके यस इट इज एनवायरमेंटल क्लीनलीनेस देन अगेन अ क्वेश्चन दैट आई डू नॉट नो एग्जैक्टली दे सेड दैट अ पिक्चर वाज गिवन मीडियल रेक्टस वाज मार्क्ड एंड दे आस्क द न्यूक्लियस इज एट द लेवल ऑफ वाज इट लाइक दिस आई डू नॉट नो दिस क्वेश्चन एग्जैक्टली 
and um, they said that the nucleus is at the level of and uh, i did not get the d option also uh, one was red nucleus then inferior colliculus superior colliculus please let me know if this language is correct if this question is correct was a uh, there a similar question there because this question i do not know we have discussed these things in the classes but um, i could not know the options because very few people were telling about this question medial rectus was marked so i think this image is correct then was it a similar image medial rectus was marked so where do you expect its nucleus to be what did you mark there what were the options question is correct oh thank you ji origin of the nerve this question was there but it was a ct scan picture all right so i'll replace it with a ct scan picture it was a cadaveric image axial section medial rectus was marked it was a ct scan or it was a cadaveric image it's quite different guys This question was there, but anyhow, cadaveric section tha ya CT scan tha ya jahan par bhi tha, they marked the medial rectus. ठीक है ना? Now um, they had asked that where you are getting this um, nucleus of this uh, medial rectus. So what were the options? Look at the options. Are these options correct? Red nucleus tha. Red nucleus was uh, at the level of midbrain. <laughs> कैडवरिक इमेज थी रेड न्यूक्लियस फेस्टिजियल न्यूक्लियस ओके फेस्टिजियल एंड इंफीरियर कॉलिकुलस सुपीरियर कॉलिकुलस था सीटी स्कैन एरो पॉइंटिंग टू मीडियल रेक्टर्स अच्छा Pestigial nucleus, red nucleus, and two more. So, where do you get the nucleus uh, of the medial rectus? By the way, what did you mount? Both inferior colliculus and superior colliculus, दोनों ही नहीं थे. But some somebody told me that either one was there. Colliculus was not mentioned in the options. Inferior olive level. अच्छा. it was inferior inferior olive level is it something like this red nucleus hai sunena are you sure vestigial nucleus nahi tha pyramid decussion 100% sure tha rhombin kiplic isthmus okay Rhombin cephalic isthmus, pyramidal decussion tha. But mere hisab se superior colliculus hona chahiye because answer should be superior colliculus. Medial rectus is supplied by the third nerve and the uh, nucleus is lying at the level of superior colliculus. Was superior colliculus not there in the options? Red nucleus tha, superior colliculus tha. pyramidal decussion pyramidal tract decussion was there so i do not know there is lot of confusion but according to me the options was a superior should be superior colliculus because it is supplied by third nerve and that is lying at the level of superior colliculus so uh, still you know um, there is a doubt here there is a question mark that what were the options and according to that we will have to decide uh, so uh, this i am keeping uh, it for the review let me get all the four options for sure and then i will um, again share the modified pdf along with the answer but uh, according to me this answer should be the superior colliculus because third nerve is having that okay okay 
so um, please give me the feedback on all these questions and uh, if you feel like that uh, if it, this was not colliculars then please give me the right option so that we can come up uh, with the better answer of this question and uh, I think all the other questions are clear and um, the options and the language was fine and you were able to do it. Please uh, don't be disheartened if uh, you did something wrong but because this is not the final destination there is one main big paper yet to come that is your NEET PG and if you perform well please don't uh, be too much happy about it don't be complacent because again this is not the final destination please carry on with your good work and take it as a trial look at your weaknesses do the strength weakness analysis and this is a very good paper for seeing that where you are lacking and fortunately you have ample time to work on your weaknesses so i'll be coming live uh, again uh, in um, some uh, days to discuss about what more we can do for the NEET PG and uh, how to analyze this your um, INICT paper, how we can use this to our advantage so that we can uh, perform even uh, good, better and best in our NEET PG examination. That, should, that is how you should take it and um, let's see what topics were weak, where you were lacking or your theory is weak, your concepts are lacking, or your time management is lacking and certainly use them to your benefit so that you can come up with your best version. Don't have a comparison with other people. Have a comparison with yourself and come out with your best version so that you do not have the regrets afterwards. Oh, I could have done this. That is the you know worst thing that could happen that when you feel I could have done this, but I have not done this. So there should not be any regrets. Yes. Mm. Thank you guys. <laughs> I think much is that my students will be happy of filmology. That is so proud moment for me. Thank you so much. Um, Ma'am, please provide the uh, schedule for the revision for the next 50 days. All right. So very soon I'll be coming with the schedule for the next 50 days. Oh, that is not a problem. And uh, yes. Yes, Rihanna, I would say yes. If you uh, believe in yourself and even today you start working and you are having 100% commitment, you can do it. Okay. Don't. Uh, uh, even think of the other side and 70% uh, was easy rest 30% was luck <laughs> okay uh, thank you so much thank you uh, for uh, Guru Purnima wishes thank you for your patience thank you for your cooperation in uh, getting me the questions and thank you for your patience and uh, your uh, participation this time also you guys means a lot for me and uh, I am very privileged to have this session on the uh, Guru Purnima days. Thank you so much for all your wishes those of you have sent to me and I could not actually reply each one individually because you people have given me so much love on uh, different platforms. So thank you so much guys uh, and I too um, have the same regards and love for you and take care very soon i'll be coming with the 50 day strategy also thank you take care and happy of the knowledge <laughs>